for the dose. My name is Robert, my pal Susan. We are here doing this thing that we've been doing for over a year. And <laughs> to hear from y'all. Uh, please write in the comments. Let us know that you see, hear, feel any of this um, because it can feel like reaching out into the void. And uh, I want to know that it matters. How do you feel? Oh, my goodness. Yes. I, I know that maybe the first person who watches uh, any new video is me. <laughs> and well, hi like, to you. <laughs> hi to your number one viewer. <laughs> <laughs> or the first one. No, no, but and, and I would say Paul is probably right up there. I think she's she's a daily viewer. Um, <laughs> well, it's it's important because you know it, we're in the day one class right now. Uh, we're just in week four and day one, Parkinson's Prison, uh, Hero's Journey to Escape. You can find out more at our website. Um, is a class where we're writing and rewriting the narrative of what our journey with Parkinson's is uh, collectively against the hero's journey. And I've really become dogmatic about that saying that you know, because you finished it when I put it out there to class, which is the most important writing you'll do is the writing you do on other people's work, the feedback. Tell me about what that means to you, because collectively we write things and then we share them and everyone has assigned two people per week of who they're going to read. What does that mean to you and how have you seen that unfold? Gosh, uh, um, it's both sides. I love it from both sides. Um, I guess I would say I especially love contributing to, to, to reacting to someone else, what someone else has written. Why? Why, why do you love that so much? When something resonates with me, uh, it, it feels really good, like in a universal awakening kind of way. And it's neat to endorse that and to give them the feedback that I recognize that sometimes it's, it's a little different, though. Sometimes it's an awakening within me that they said something and I go, oh, <laughs> wow, that puts that in pers different perspective. So it's a learning experience. It's a giving and sharing uh, experience. Sometimes it's straight up compliments because I'm impressed with what someone's written. Uh, sometimes it's, uh, and I see this with others' comments as well, an opportunity to ask for clarification. And as the writer, when that comes to me, I'm very grateful for that. So it's it's sort of all sides of the of the puzzle. <laughs> I love that. I would love nothing more than for people to think and say, I've never thought of Parkinson's like that, that someone has an interesting representation based on their story. And usually it's going to be, I never, the writer, I never thought of it that way either until what? Until I took the dive, held my breath and decided to go deep, right? Because That's here's the problem. Yeah. You've heard me say this many times. Again, the metaphor is People tell stories swimming across the surface, and that's generally boring. <laughs> we want to see someone dive for gold. We want to see them try to pull back the thing that we've never seen before from the depths of the ocean. And then we want to admire the effort. And when we've tried that ourselves, when even if we've only peeled back a layer or two of the proverbial onion, when we have those, like, aha uh -huh, like oh my goodness whoa there it is moments about our own experience that we see differently then it it, it, it keeps you wanting more <laughs> here's the thing we this came up in several variations this week so important we had a week to stop and talk about what we're doing right rather than just keep rolling through because I saw a lot of eyes open up today and a lot of, whoa, whoa, whoa. I didn't know we were doing that. And it's like, yeah, that's what we're doing. <laughs> and people <laughs> tend who don't think in a mythical manner, storytelling manner, think that A, they're not heroes, and B, that whatever they thought or felt in the outside world in their you know normal lives is it. And that's, the stories are calling for us to say, wake up, wake up. There's more, there's more in you. There's more to see. There's more to do. That's what we are literally being. That is the call. So one of the people who's writing, I commented on this week, used the expression, 
that fear could prevent future possibilities or something like that. And my response to him was about <laughs> how fear has increasingly become the answer to my question of what, why, what stopped you? What stopped that process? What kept you at a safer, more superficial level? And, and, and that's the first step is to acknowledge it's there, right? Instead of just saying that's the way it is, is go, no, that was actually fear. And that was something I allowed the fear to take the pin out of my hand, right? The fin got to the pin got to uh, the fear got to write that story. Uh, in in the in the past, the fear the pin would be a metaphoric pin, right? The right. action that I cho chose to cease. Yeah. And so then, when I recently begin to discover it was fear, well, that's just the tip of the iceberg. It's and that is the tip of the iceberg. We're gonna have to hold on because that's been six minutes. <laughs> we'll be back for your next daily news. How did that happen?